I was on my way home, um, traveling down 205, and I cut off and went on um, Tracy Boulevard because I like to go through the back way. On this particular day, though, there was a black Durango about a car length ahead of me, and it was real windy. The car started to rock because the wind got a hold of it. The car started to rock, and she flipped three complete flips and landed right back up. So I immediately pulled over. Uh, I made sure that I had my car away from her vehicle because I didn't know if gas was leaking or if the car was going to explode or what. So when I went back, the driver's side window was broken out and I talked to her and I asked her, was she okay? She told me she thought so. As I was talking to her, I heard a baby in the back and I asked her, do you have a child? She said, yes. Once I found out that there was a child involved, the urgency was paramount because I still didn't know if the car was going to blow up, if it was going to catch on fire, if all of us would be in danger or what. So I said to myself, I got to do this. I got to do it fast. And no one was there to help me. So I, I had to do it with, you know, real urgency. But I had to get them out. And I was thinking, my God, if this was my family, would anybody stop and help them? I broke the window in the back. I did have to use a knife to cut it loose. And at that particular point, I took the baby out, put her in my back seat. I put my sweater around her so she would be warm. The baby wanted to play, but <laughs> I didn't have a chance, uh, didn't have time to play with the baby. So I left her in the back seat and closed the door. And I went back and I was able to extract the mother out of the vehicle and put her in the back seat as well. Once the, I made sure that both of them were in my vehicle and safe, I then called the CHP who arrived along with the ambulance service. I rescued the baby first because I have kids, I have grandkids, and I was always taught we've lived our lives, they should have a chance to live theirs. And I thought it was important to get the baby out first and then try to rescue the mother. You know, when you come across a situation like that, you want to help if you can. It really surprised me that no one else would stop and try to render, you know, help to this family. I did what I did because it was something that I felt I had to do. And I'm glad they're alive and I'm glad that I was there to help them.